Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just lift it up. It's fine. Okay, lift it up a little bit more. No, don't rip. Don't rip. Don't rip. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to do a backflip over the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Save it. Save it. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with the Bismarck here. So we've got some ships that we're going to be checking out, some uh, other ones that we really haven't played too much with. But this one, for some reason, I'm feeling like this is going to be one of the perfect ships to do our first experiment. So if you recall this series, uh, one of the first episodes that we did was try to create a ramp. And I was thinking, you know what, we need to one-up that. We need a, like, a ski-style ramp and see if we can launch it off and hopefully make this thing land and stay up. Now, one reason we're using this ship, check this out. If I go here, I can punch holes in it, and it's got compartments. Now, not all ships in Floating Sandbox have this. So this is going to hopefully save the hole a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, who are we kidding? It's still probably going to sink. Uh, and real quick, let's try to save this thing. <laughs> Antimatter bombs save everything. There we go. Oh, uh, which one's going to win? Is it going to rip it in half? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's making a smiley face. Oh, never mind. No, wait, what the heck? Why did it go so high? All right, and let's go explode. Yeah. Oh, that never gets old. All the pieces. So... Let's go ahead and reload the ship. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the terrain tool. I guess I might need to put this... No, let's not do ultraviolet mode yet. I need to figure out how I'm going to make this ski jump and how we're actually going to drop the ship on it. I think it's going to be like Tony Hawk style. Uh, we'll drop in kind of like a, a ramp and then slide down it and hopefully go up. I don't think this is going to work. I mean, maybe if we turn the strength up, it might. Alright, so we got our terrain tool. Does this thing work different now? I always thought it liked to just spike. Uh, it feels really good being able to do this. You can make a really smooth ramp. Hold on. So if I were to go... Okay, so we got the top of the ramp here. And then we go down. This is going to be like a world record jump for ships. And then we go up like that. I feel like that last little bit might be a little much. Hold on, let's just go up further. Uh, oh, I think we just ate a part of the ship. It's fine. Okay, so let's try to make this smooth. Okay, one smooth motion. Uh, let's cut this little lip off here. No, it's it's not. It's screwed up. Hold on. There we go. That looks like it's not going to work at all. I have a feeling it's going to stall out. Okay, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Ship Edition. Let's go ahead. Oh, buddy. All right, does it actually slide down is the question, or does it just destroy itself here? Here it goes. Uh. On. Okay, so it hits the ramp. Oh, no. Uh, do they even slide down at all? <laughs> Wait, the back the back part's attempting to... Is it the ramp? Does it need to be steeper or maybe less steep? Maybe it's the bumps. I can't really tell. All right, so maybe we just need to go extreme with it. So let's go whoop, like that. And then a big takeoff ramp like that. That looks like it probably might work. I don't know. What do you guys think? Also, if you guys have any suggestions for uh, future experiments with the ships, uh, comment below. Let's try not to spear this thing. Okay, so we want to drop it in about like this. Uh, is this... <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to not stab the ship here. Oh, here it goes. Uh, on, on, so it's going to slap it here. Come on. Come on, break free. There it goes. It just broke free. Uh, what is up with that? Why is it? Oh, it's doing it. It's starting to slide. Okay. <laughs> this is like the slowest slide I've ever seen. Oh, it just grinds away. I'm almost convinced that we have to adjust the strength of the ship itself uh, to make it to where it doesn't immediately stop itself. And yeah, oh no. Oh, it's beautiful though. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of impressive. All right. So let's adjust the strength up to like times three. We'll see if that's enough to make it to where this thing doesn't move. All right, so let's go ahead and pick you up here. I also got rid of the point because I think the point was a little too much. All right, come on. Come on. There it goes. Okay, so it holds up. Does it slide down is the question. Oh, it's going to start easy. This is not going to work. Yeah, it's like the ground is just sticky. It's like completely sticky. Like we're not going to be able to get this to where it slides down like I want it to. 
I almost think we should just assist it with a wave or something. Yeah, like you would picture this is going to be a sick jump. I think our last method was better just sticking the ramp out of the water and using the water to accelerate the boat. I think that's what we're going to have to do again because this is just... This is pathetic. This is not working at all. All right, folks. So we set up the old method again, and I think we're going to try to perfect this one. So basically, I had to turn ultraviolet mode on. We have created another ramp, and we're just going to pull it, which should be here any second now. Here it comes. Yes, sir. Wait. Uh, <laughs> I could have swore that worked last time. Does it only work with certain ships? Uh, <laughs> maybe I need to pull up a little more. Or maybe the ramp was too aggressive. I don't know. This is things that are not supposed to happen in real life. All right, let's, uh, let's try that again. Okay, we're going to grab upwards a little bit now. It's got to still hit the ramp, and then as soon as it hits, I'm going to release it. All right. Oh, man, we just missed the ramp. No, it's the ultra-violent mode, isn't it? It's causing the ship to explode on impact. Hey, look at the sick willy it's pulling over there. All right, maybe we'll uh, we'll adjust the strength again. All right, so you can't tell me times 10 doesn't get this done. Okay, so here we go, full speed. Uh, should be popping up any moment now. Where is it at? Where is it at? Here it comes, yes! <laughs> that just, yeah. That's times 10 right there. I can't get this thing to hold together. Does it hold what? No, it's sinking. You know, this is like one of those impossible ideas in floating sandbox. Just, let's just do that. There we go. We'll stop that. I was really hoping for like some sick air. And then I put a little wall stopper here, you know, for safety. And it just exploded the whole thing. Yeah, that, that didn't work at all. You know what? Maybe we should just leave the Bismarck alone. There's some other stuff I want to check out. Uh, like the next creation. All right, so our next one is a, a really unique creation. I don't know how I missed this thing. We have done everything Titanic related in this game, except for this thing. This is literally a Titanic in a bottle. I'd actually really like to have one of those ships in a bottle again. I had one as a kid and I broke it open to get the ship out of it. So I think that's what we're gonna try here. We're gonna break open the bottle and see if we can uh, get the ship. I'm actually kind of curious. Is the ship model within the bottle, does it float? So let's go ahead and uh, assist it here. Actually, not the swirl tool. Let's grab the slice tool. So let's slice this Titanic out and see if it still floats. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, wait, I think it does. Look, oh, and we need to save it real quick because it's gonna, wait. Oh, never mind. I don't think it does. Well, does it? Oh, uh, get the bottle away from it. Okay, uh, just cut the bottle off first. Wait. I mean, it looks like it still has the compartments, but I don't think it actually floats. Wait a minute. Can we flood the bottle? Is this top? Is this actually open? If it wasn't, it's, it's open now. I think it is open, actually. Huh. I got an idea. So, obviously, removing the ship from the bottle is not a great idea because it doesn't actually have its own, like, I guess you could say hole and stuff. I guess it's a shared uh, experience here with the, uh, the bottle itself, but <laughs> that looks kind of cool. I want to see this thing break. Okay, all I want to do, I just want to see if this, uh, this bottle can take water. Does it? It does. That's cool. I kind of expected that to be, like, a solid piece, but yeah, you can actually try to fill it up that way. Hold on, can we drag it enough to get enough water in there? Come on. Come on. Just, just trying to get some water in here. Just trying to, just trying to get some water. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at how this thing breaks. That is actually really strange. Wait, what if we were to stick an antimatter bomb? How would this thing even rip apart? All right, so we're gonna try one antimatter bomb on the front and one on the back. Let's see if this pulls apart. Okay. Wait, was that the way to make the Titanic float? It's so, oh, never mind. it's not gonna float. I forgot, they still haven't technically gone off. <laughs> I almost wanna see like a glass ship. Oh, that's loud. Hold on, what is it doing? Was it? Ooh. <laughs> There goes Titanic chunks everywhere. You know, ever since the update and the whole fact that the debris all likes to actually stay in the map now, it looks incredible when the antimatter bomb destroys stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that glass, you could strip it off pretty easy. I almost argue that's easier uh, to peel it off that way than trying to cut it off. Antimatter bombs for the win. <laughs> all right, 
Well, the Titanic, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab something else here. All right, so another plan. This was actually from the, uh, the one of the last episodes, which we need to change some settings here. Uh, we have the Britannic. And a lot of people were curious how the tsunami, you can create it and say you can make the wave go up. Uh, you can do kind of a reverse effect and make it drag down. And a lot of people were curious, can you drag down so far that you actually empty out the ocean? I don't know if that's a thing or not. So I, I think we're actually going to try that here. So let's go ahead and go. You know, I could probably just set the depth here. All right, so we don't want any bumps in this thing. And let's come up with it. So... Okay, that's, uh, obviously that's down. Let's go up with it. Uh, uh, there we go. So perfectly flat. Let's go up here. That's probably a little too close. Let's go down there. There we go. So essentially what we're going to do, we're going to create a pool inside of this. Now, we'll see how the physics work in this game. If I were to maybe make a self-contained area here. So we'll go up here, and then we'll go up here. So obviously you can see the water traveling through it, but if I were to empty the water out, which I can't use that, I don't think the flood tool would work. I think we're really going to have to do it with the, uh, the wave maker tool. So basically what I'm saying is that we're going to empty out like that, which I think we need to turn this to ultra violent. That way we get maximum effect here. And we're going to try to actually empty out the water here and see what happens. Uh, we have the one wave coming. Uh-oh, what's this gonna do? Don't destroy the ship, please. I don't think we've ever tested the Britannic against the, uh, the new waves. Uh, look at that, it's gonna skid right over. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so what we want to do, ultraviolet mode is on, so let's go. Nope. Okay, so you see that's as far down as I can go. So the idea, I guess we need to raise the ocean depths up a little bit. That way we would actually empty this area out. Oh, you can hear it crunch. It's like it's back just popped. Wait, look at that. Look at how much water you can clear out. It's like we're literally eliminating the water from the map. What happens when I release this? So I release it. Oh, no. Oh, it creates a huge wave. And it, oh, no, I don't think you can actually do this. Uh, you know, our experiments today, they've been painful for all the people in the ships. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the destruction part. But I'm looking for something that's actually going to work here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's make the depth a little bit higher. Okay, that's pretty darn close right there. It's going to make our little walls here again. I should probably repair the ship, but you know what? It's fine. All right, so let's go. And watch this. There it goes. The water's gone. So is it actually going to land on the floor here? Look at that. So we're draining it. We're getting rid of all of the ocean water, so I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to let it drain the map completely, and we'll see what happens here. We are draining the ocean to save the Britannic. I mean, the Britannic was probably going to be fine in the first place, but we kind of caused all this. So, yeah, no, that's the thing. Okay, so the water's almost completely out of the zone. What happens when it leaves the zone? Like, it would be so cool if we could just completely drain this. Okay, it's official. We have drained a floating sandbox. If I release this button, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. All right, release. Oh, no, here it comes. Hold on, let's start a tsunami immediately. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's shaking the ground. Wait, wait, how does the tsunami come from back there? Oh, man, I was hoping maybe there was going to be some sort of Easter egg and you just leave it drained. Uh... You know, we should probably try to help the ship here, Han. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Wait. That formed an even bigger tsunami. Uh-oh. Okay, Han, let's save the ship. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just lift it up. It's fine. Okay, lift it up a little bit more. No, don't rip. Don't rip. Don't rip. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to do a backflip over the... Uh-oh. Han. Han. Save it. Save it. Save it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I forgot about the spike. Oh, okay. Oh, that was messy. Oh, that wasn't right at all. Okay, so we drained the ocean for like, I don't know, uh, I would say a good 30 seconds. You can see it's still uh, actually filling this all back up. Huh. Kind of was hoping that was going to work. <laughs> you know, I think nothing we do works here. Uh, I think it's time. Let's go ahead and create another spike pit for the Britannic. So we've done proved. I don't think you can really do sick jumps in this game. Draining the ocean's possible as long as you hold the button down long enough. But everything we've done has been a failure. What you know, and once you think about it, that's about my channel. Like, I don't know where I would be if we didn't fail at half the things that we did. Because, do we really want to watch everything go right? Is that is that where we are as a society? I don't know. 
You guys can answer that one. All right, Britannic, it's time to meet your inevitable doom. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. So, there we go. Oh, oh. oh this is gonna be terrible. All right. <laughs> oh, man. That is brutal. All right, well, if you guys have any more experiment ideas, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see here. That was absolutely amazing looking, that spike pit. I kind of thought it was going to go through, but I guess, hold on. Uh, we can force it through. Hold on, let's just, let's get the pull tool. There we go. <laughs> and we filled the pit up. Uh, we fed it another day. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on Floating Sandbox. Uh, we like to do these probably once every other week. I uh, just try to experiment more, wait for some new updates, try some new ships out. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time.